Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming and welcome to another quick uh, guide video on how to find the best deals on Steam using SteamDB. So SteamDB is a plugin as well as a website, a third party website that gives you a lot of information about Steam games. So this is another request from a user this time on uh, Twitter. So they wanted me to explain how to use SteamDB. Now it is pretty straightforward. For someone like me, it is more useful, but for the normal average person, it's not that useful, but there are one or two things that you can do. First and foremost, if you are buying a game on Steam, don't pay full price. I think everybody knows this, but if you're new, this is the number one rule. Don't pay full price for anything on Steam because everything goes on sale and there are sales all the time. So normally on Steam, Monday to Thursday, you have games on sale and then you have Thursday to Monday, for more sales so weekend and midweek sales by the way if you are new to this channel consider subscribing because this is basically what I do here I cover all the sales and deals on PC gaming not just team but humble bundle fanatical GOG etc so for example right now we have this midweek deal on the shadow of war games so both games are on sale I have both of them as you can see it says in the library and this is I'm using the Chrome by the way I'm not using the Steam app so let's just open Shadow of War let's go to the store page now you see all these things the colors and these things this is because I'm using the Steam DB plugin um, so right now it's got all my information here add to library stuff like that now this is not part of Steam DB this is another plugin I use called augmented steam so it should be up here this will give you further information again information that is mostly useful for me but what you can do is when you go to buy the game and if you have steam DB installed if you have the plugin installed it will show you the lowest recorded price in your region so for example I'm in India so it's showing me the price in Indian rupees so you can see if it is equal to the current price and figure out if it's worth getting or not so you can see here it is equal to its lowest price so excellent once again now let's go to the web page here for steam db and we can get some more information now, of course you can log in here with your steam and it just gives you a good idea of what's happening so the trending games here most played games here popular releases um, what else is happening right now the sale events there's next fest currently active on steam games that have had updates things like that now if you're looking at sales, um, I go here, because normally I make videos on the best deals in a week or something. You get this page here. Now a quick glance, this will show you the games that are on sale, the percentage of sale. Now blue means historical low, so this game has never been cheaper before. This is the lowest price for this game. Green means it's equal to its low. So you can select these two and this way you'll be paying the lowest for these games. If a game is not here, then obviously it's not on its lowest low. You can also further uh, tune things. For example, let's say if I want uh, $10 maximum, and if I want uh, at least 100 reviews, no, well, at least 100 would be here. Because some games, they are smaller, we don't have reviews. We pick a rating, let's say it should be at least 65, discount should be at least 40 and just reload the page with these filters so now we get stuff that we specified here now you can also change the currency so I can go to Indian rupee for myself and use that okay apparently Indian rupee nothing is matching oh I did select rupee because it's 10 so let's go 100 rupees okay now we find games so now we selected games under 100 with at least 100 reviews at least 65 rating and at least a 40 percent discount so you can see here shadow tactics blaze of the shogun this is 90 percent off only 84 rupees so you can see here so many games that are uh, under 100 rupees of course most of them will be crap so that's why you put the rating and the number of reviews so we only get the good stuff here so uh, car mechanic simulator vampire the masquerade um, and things like that so you can just basically now this shows the green stuff means I own this game they also have an option to show games that I have wishlisted for example 
let's see if there's something here that I have wish listed. Nothing I can see here. Maybe I'll increase the price a little bit. Let's go to 1000. So you can see here, these ones, these are games that I have wish listed and that are on sale right now. I can see here Barotroma is 80% off. Uh, sea of Thieves is 50% off. You can get more information. Let's say we click the page. It shows you more details about the game. Prices in all the different countries. You also have the historical prices. So when the game first came out, it was 899 Then it dips to 50% off. You can see it keeps dipping to the same 50%. Um, so yeah, you get plenty of information. It shows you how many people are playing the game right now. These are all just tools for people who enjoy looking at these things. Basically, you're trying to save money, so not spend as much as possible. So if you're looking for Sea of Thieves, you go to the... Um, uh, store page here you'll see um, 449 so it is 449 so this is the lowest recorded price it has been on sale at this price 13 times the first time being on the 22nd of December 2020 so it always drops to 50% um, off now you get more information using these plugins so yeah I just wanted to make a quick video basically what I'm trying to say is if you have SteamDB install the plugin login and when you're in the mood you're looking at a game just see the price and see the historical price the lowest price so let's say if this game wasn't on sale let's I'll look at something that's not on sale for example um, I don't know because the, the steam will show only the stuff that's on sale um, let's find something that's let's just search it um, let's go call of Juarez See, Call of War is Gunslinger. I own these three games. It's, that's why it shows green. Um, if we go here, it is currently not on sale. 983 in India, which is quite a lot. $15. It has been as low as free. <laughs> so that is the cheapest it has been. Um, so, yeah, this was free given away. So that's why it says zero. Let's look at something else that has not been free. Call of War is Bound and Blood. Hopefully this wasn't free. Um, okay, so this one you can see here is 500. Cheapest was uh, 99 rupees at 80% off. So um, last on 21st January 2023. So not too long ago. A couple of weeks ago this was on sale. So let's say if you are in the mood for Call of War and you see, don't buy it now. You know it will go down to 99. Just wait, put it on your wish list, see when it's on sale the next time and let's say it's on sale for like 250 don't buy it wait until it goes to 99 because it's been on this price 11 times so chances are good it will be at that price again so anyway uh, this is what I wanted to chat about try it out SteamDB that's the website I'll put the link below you can sign in if you want you don't even have to sign in you still get plenty of information you can use augmented steam as well if you want comparison in other regions it won't be useful for a lot of you. It's useful for me because I make these videos. But yeah, you can get the comparison in different regions. You also get information like how many people are playing the game. Uh, sometimes it also gives you uh, like things like how long to be. So it gives you the idea of how big the story is. What game is it again? Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves doesn't have a campaign as such. So this isn't going to be too accurate. Look for something. If it's a single player campaign, you'll get an idea of how big the game is. Let's see Witcher 3 for example. Let's see, since I'm curious. Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Not on sale by the way. So if we go here, 26,000 people playing. And this is a single player game. Uh, let's see, let's see. Do we have how long to beat here? So it says main story 52 hours. Main story and extras 104, completionist 178, 179 hours roughly. So yeah, if you are going to play Witcher and you're buying a game and you look at the length of the game and it puts you off, then yeah, this sort of thing can be useful. Anyway, don't want to drag the video any longer. Hopefully this was useful. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions and I'll try and make videos on that as well.